Holy shit. Wait, is that a star? As you can see, don't be zoom in now, so... But as you can see, it shakes a little bit because... Whoa, <laughs> look at that explosion going on! So hi folks, welcome back to Widow's Astroform. And when observing the sun, looking at the sun or photographing the sun, you'll always need proper protection. So these are not your regular sunglasses like these. Don't do that, you need these special certified solar filters. And they are all these kinds of uh, solar uh, sunglasses. So you can put these on. Uh, but to be honest, when I'm looking, when I'm looking at the sun wearing these, To be honest, it's kind of underwhelming. Let me try and show you. So let me show you what you can expect when looking through one of these certified solar sunglasses for about 10-15 bucks. So here we have the sun. And here's my balcony. Right. Here's my cheap ass solution to look at the sun. Let's see how it goes. So let me try and find the sun for you. It's there, as you can see. I'm going to zoom in now. So this is about what you can expect when looking at the sun through one of these certified solar sunglasses. So guys, my second solution to watch the sun is using this telezoom lens. So I have here a certified solar filter, a 50 millimeter solar filter. I think it's like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. I put it in front of my telezoom lens. This is a Tamron 100 to 400 millimeter telezoom lens. So I'm going to hook this up with my camera so I can show you what the surface of the sun looks like with this uh, telezoom lens and a camera. Zoom lens. So let's see how this goes. It is it's quite windy in the Netherlands, so here's the sun. Um, quite windy, and I have this cheap ass tripod with my camera here. So this is the microphone. Uh, doesn't matter, but you can see here, hopefully it will focus. So here we have 400 millimeters. And let me also show you the image I'm getting. I'm recording the sun right now. So this is just, hopefully you can see it. Hopefully it will focus. And yeah, this is the sun right now. But as you can see, it shakes a little bit because it is so windy in the Netherlands and that's making it really hard to actually yeah, get a good quality image or a video uh, of the surface of the sun.
I'm going to uh, I'm going to try something else here. So hi guys, let me show you my third attempt, my third setup to actually photograph the surface of the sun. Um, what we have here is ZWO AM5. So this is a harmonic drive mount, it's a tracking mount, so it can automatically track uh, the sun without me having to make any kind of adjustments. And here you have a telescope, obviously. So this is a refractor telescope, a 500 millimeter um, F6 photo line apochromatic refractor. And actually this is ex essentially a big tele lens of about 500 millimeters. I have the same kind of filter here I also used um, for my camera and also uh, the same filter that is on the solar glasses uh, to actually look at the sun and yeah that's about it I have a camera here as well so this is the ASI 678 MC let me check if you can see it here so this is a, a, a planetary and solar camera you can buy it for a couple of hundred dollars or euro so yeah let's see how it goes This is the ZWO AM5 like I showed you with the camera, the ASI678. It's now hooked up to this small computer you can see over here. And the telescope is actively tracking the sun, which is oh, over there. You can see there's another wind gust and the bus. Anyway, when we go inside, you can see here on my computer, this is actually the photosphere of the sun. Let me focus here. This is the photosphere of the sun. Hi guys, I'm here inside my house behind my desktop computer and this is by far the most comfortable way to take a look at the, the, the sun's disk here. So, um, I wanted to show you one more trick and that's actually... So here's the Daystar Chromosphere. It's basically a, a chromosphere filter. I also have an additional UV IR cut filter in front. Uh, the chromosphere filter itself, you can see it's powered with an adapter here. Um, and when the light hits green, it means that you can go ahead and use the Daystar Chromosphere. Um, and you can use this little button to actually tweak the Daystar Chromosphere until you get the perfect view of the Chromosphere uh, with your camera. So I have an ASI678 here and I will put it in my telescope there and I will show you what the view is of the telescope and the sun over here. Whoa, <laughs> look at that explosion going on on the edge of the sun's disk. It's amazing. This is a very big solar flare happening right now. 